guys once again. If you're one of those guys that just go to the gym every week, you got your notepad, you got your exercises listed, and you're doing the same exercises every single week, and you wonder why your body or your muscles are not progressing, why you're not seeing results. Now, the reason why is because you're not changing your variations. You're, using, you're doing the same exercises at the same, in the same angle every single time without even varying your angles. And knowing that muscles are coming from different angles. And if you don't change and vary the angle of the exercises you're doing, then your muscles are only going to grow in that area or they might not even respond at all because they're used to it. Now the exercise I'm not I'm gonna do I'm gonna do today is called incline curls using resistor bands without gym equipment. So you set up a bench on the incline, which is a little bit more instead of going on the 45 degrees, I'll bring it up a little bit more, maybe like to 55 degrees. So basically what I'll do is I stay on the incline position. So I grab my resistor band. So what I do was what I did with my resistor band. I anchored my resistor bands right around my treadmill. My treadmill is up here. I just pushed it up. I anchored it around it. So you can anchor it around uh, a pole, um, maybe uh, weighted plates or kettlebells, just to make sure they don't move around at all. So you go to incline position, rest your back. You can rest your head or you can bring your head up a little bit more. So right now, so what you want to do is just curl up from this angle, control, release coming down, curl up. The most important thing you want to do here is keep your elbows closer to the side of your body. Don't allow your elbows to angle out. So basically you, want to, you don't want to do something like that. So what you do, when you do pull your elbows away from your body, you're actually going to take the load away from the biceps and put it in your shoulders a little bit. So to isolate the biceps at 100%, you have to stabilize it. So by stabilizing your elbows and just hinging back and forth, stay in control. As you guys can see, the bicep contraction from this angle is just incredible. I can feel it all the way to the lower side of my bicep attachment, all the way to the top, and right around the middle. Always stay in control, squeeze at the top, come down slow. Squeeze at the top. And you can even do alternate. You can actually do what I call alternate um, resistance. I mean, alter, alternate isolation movement. You isolate the biceps on the right, on the left, and then you curl the right like that. And you squeeze at the top. Alternate. <sighs> Control. <sighs> alternate. <sighs> I can feel my biceps going crazy right now and then you can do both together that's now if you want to increase or reduce the load or the resistance so I see this one that I'm using has different attachments on it so all I have to do is just drop one off and then I can do my high volume with this one just control keep squeezing at the top do high reps you can actually finish with it and squeeze at the top. Right there. So the next exercise I'm gonna do for you guys is the same, we're gonna keep the same angle. Incline reversed resistor back curls. It's the same position, you know, pro supinating on the first one that I did. I'm gonna pronate now on this one. So actually what I'm gonna tell you right now is that you know at the end of this exercise, at the end of this video. I'm going to show you a special resistor band bicep exercise that you probably has never seen before that will take your bicep game to an ultimate level. So stay tuned to the end. You're going to see this exercise that I'm going to do. You probably have never seen it before. It's using the incline, I mean using the resistor band on a different angle that will help you load your bicep muscle from a different um, angle. So now I'm going to do the reversed incline resistor band curl so it's just the same grip but right now we're going to grip reverse so one thing i like about this exercise is that apart from it working the outside of my biceps a little bit more 
because I'm going to be gripping reverse and flexing my, my, my wrist at the end, which will allow me to work on my forearms a little bit more. So that way this muscle here matches this muscle here. I see most guys that have bicep development here, but they got nothing down here. So this exercise is really going to help you work both together. So this is how it goes. So you lean back, turn your wrist upward, and then you just curl back, squeeze, come down. Same concept. Squeeze, as you guys can see, my forearm on the lower side, really activating along with my biceps on the outside. Squeeze a little bit more. Make sure you always control. Squeeze, come down slow. And we can also do the same thing as we did for the biceps. Hold one up. This one is really activating. I mean, I can feel every single strain of muscle fiber, mostly right on that top side of my forearms, all the way to the outside of my biceps. <sighs> you can go back and do both together. <sighs> What's up, guys? Now, this is the last exercise I'm going to show you today. And like I said earlier in the video, when I mean, you watch this video to the end, um, I'm going to show you this special exercise. And I'm sure you guys have seen concentration curls, you know, done at the gym using dumbbells because the dumbbell is going this way. So what's happening is because the dumbbell is dropping down, you know, you don't have a lot of pulley coming from the dumbbell, coming from the bottom to the top. So what's going to happen is that the dumbbell is just traveling back and forth, which is okay. Now, like I said earlier, this is a bicep exercise game changer. Now, doing this game changer, so I'm just going to keep the band on my left side while I'm grabbing with my right side. So I'm just going to hold the band on the left, left foot and I'm going to grab with my right arm. And I want to do is curl this way. So as I'm coming down, the band is pulling away from me so I have to fight it both ways. Instead of just only fighting it coming up, I'm also fighting it coming down. So I'm going to squeeze, come down slow, right there, squeeze. As you guys can see, because I want the constant tension on the, dumb, on the bar, on the resistor band, I don't want to go all the way down. Because I go all the way down, I lose it. It's gone. So I want to make sure I stop right there, and I just curl up and squeeze. Down really slow, right about there. Come up and squeeze. Now... I'm supposed to be feeling the same thing as I'm feeling when I'm doing dumbbells, but I'm not. I'm feeling a little bit more because I'm pulling and resisting. So I'm pulling on the positive. On the negative, I also feel like I'm pulling because I don't want the, the band to pull me down right away. So that way you get a lot more pump on your biceps and you get more contraction in there. So that way you can recruit more muscle to grow. And this is a great exercise, it's a game changer. I'm not saying don't ever use your dumbbell, but whenever you go back to your dumbbell, you're gonna realize that you're actually a little bit more stronger. You're gonna be able to move a little bit more heavier dumbbells to challenge your muscle a little bit more for growth. So there you have it guys. So this is a game changer for me. This is a bicep game changer. Those biceps angle, the variation, the loading of the muscle with the resistor band, is really going to challenge your muscle, recruit a lot of muscle so you can be able to build more mass and move forward with your results. And one more thing before I sign out, um, I always hear, you know, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube, people talking about, you know, not a few to get a bicep pick. You have to turn your wrist, turn your elbow, whatever. You have to turn your arms a certain way, turn your wrist a certain way. I'm here to tell you that those are all myth because we all build muscle differently. Although the exercises that we do and how we do those exercises does affect muscular development. But when it comes to the muscle shape, when it comes to the shape of the muscle, it's all about your genetics, your bone structure, and your muscle attachment. And make sure you also stick to your nutrition because exercise is just a tiny portion of the whole spectrum. So thank you all once again for watching my video today. And thank you for all the great comments, all the feedback, and uh, all the feedbacks and all the encouragement. 
you know, the comments that you guys leave me. You can still leave comments below. Let me know which bicep exercises are your favorite exercises. And also, if you're not a subscriber yet, you know what to do. Subscribe below, right there. And if you're already a subscriber, please ring that bell right there on the left hand side. And I will notify you every time I post a new video. So go back, go or once again, go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com. The blueprint is right there. You can go there, all the exercises you need to be doing using weight equipment, gym equipment. Um, those exercises are there in high de definition um, videos. They're also there for multiple camera angles. So you can see everything that I'm trying to teach you. So that way you can go to the gym and not zombie your way around at the gym. So that way you can get the results that you're looking for. And you look back and think about where you're from and where you are right now. You can always progress forward. So this is Mojo Lua, Miami Muscle, signing out with the front of a bicep. Boom.